from flooding to a record forest fire season and everything in between, 2017 was a wild year for the Penticton Fire Department. But it was a largely successful year, as Fire Chief Larry Watkinson pointed out. During the most devastating fire season in BC's history, not one home in Penticton was lost. You know, looking back, uh, there's times where I thought, you know, for sure we were going to lose these fires, but uh, our, our troops stopped it, and I'm, I'm very proud of them for that. And there wasn't any breathing room either for the department to jump into those summer fires because they had spent the whole spring preventing floods. I think we, we did a pretty good job. You know, we laid over 230,000 sandbags in over, uh, you know, six-week period. So those are long days, uh, but our firefighters are very proud of what we do and how we protect our community. And even with all the emergencies, don't think they can be slowed down. Watkinson said more than 9,000 hours of training were done collectively by members of the fire department this year. And among many internal upgrades in the fire hall, the biggest this year was putting a new rescue boat on the water, an upgrade Watkinson said was badly needed. We now have a, a vessel that we can comfortably go out on Okanagan Lake in any condition at any time of day and, and do these rescues and not put our firefighters at risk. He also acknowledged the community support received for that to happen. You know, we needed $90,000. We raised that in 30 days. And there's individuals in this community, I could name a number of them right now, but they they really made this happen. And, you know, we wouldn't be where we are without that contribution. If there's one thing the Penticton Fire Department proved in 2017. When the community is at threat, no matter what the emergency it may be, we'll step to the plate. For Castanet News, I'm Colton Davies in Penticton. Castanet has webcams, and lots of them. Click the cams button in our yellow masthead to see them all.